General Merrick Garland has a lot of reasonable friends who say he is a smart and moderate person, but that was not a moderate statement. It was dishonest, completely dishonest. Dishonest enough you should be worried about it. There's no evidence that white supremacists were responsible for what happened on January 6th. That's a lie. Tucker Carlson needs to be, you know, tied up and put in the, uh, in the corner somewhere so we never hear from him again. Are you sure about that? Yes, that's right. Joy Behar just put out a call to violence against Tucker Carlson for saying something that she doesn't like. Now, I already know what I'm going to read in the comments after I publish this video. You're all going to give me crap for wasting my time on the spew. And you're going to say, why don't you focus on things that are more important? Well, this is important. Okay, because the stuff that they're saying on the spew is the exact same thing that's getting pumped out into the country from the former free press, what's known as the mainstream media. But before we get into that, I'd like you to hit that like button and subscribe. And as we all know, you got to hit that bell icon as well, because otherwise you won't be notified about new content. Well, I'm not being completely fair here because eventually Behar does back off her call to violence against a reporter who says things that she disagrees with. Yes. Can I just say one? Yeah. I don't mean to imply yes, that Joy, anything bad should happen. To, I do not mean to imply that anything harmful should happen to Tucker Carlson. I just want him to stop saying stupid things. That's all. So let me just get that straight. Right. I don't, we'll I don't, I don't want to be perceived we'll as talk. someone who's violent in any way. I'm not. Tucker Carlson needs to be, you know, tied up and put in the, uh, in the corner somewhere so we never hear from him again. We'll I don't like to be perceived we'll as talk. someone who's violent in any way. I'm not. Joy Behar from The Spew wants Tucker Carlson to stop saying stupid things or else he should be tied up and put in a corner. She wants everyone to know, though, that she's not violent. I wonder what's to be done with all the stupid that's coming from Behar herself and this hour of propaganda and misinformation that they call a talk show. Believe it or not, there is more bombastic BS from The View. But first, this quick message from this episode's sponsor, Noble Gold. One of the first commitments made by the new administration is the $2 trillion spending on environmental concerns. With renewables like solar panels, wind turbines, and even batteries for electronic vehicles, the use of silver will soar. But of course, we don't have enough silver to cover the demand. And that is good for investors and the price of silver. If you're thinking of an IRA or a 401k, now is the time to look at silver. And this month, with every gold or silver IRA, they're giving away one of these incredible five ounce solid silver Apollo 11 memento coins with every silver IRA that started. Click on the Noble Gold link in the description or pinned comment right now and learn more about future proofing your investments. All we hear now from Democrats and their propaganda machine known as CNN, MSNBC, CBS, NBC, ABC, and the vast majority of the former free press is that all their political and business opposition needs to be silenced from social media to cable news. We just had several Democrats trying to strong arm AT&T to drop Fox News, Newsmax, and OAN, basically just leaving Democrat Party state media. Their reason? Those networks say things things that they don't agree with and have tenuously connected to the minor riot at the Capitol. Yet we watch years of left-wing violence go largely unreported while the networks and the politicians that incited and stoked that violence are somehow exempt from these same standards. So back to Behar. Why was she threatening Tucker Carlson in the first place, you ask? I mean, you had Tucker Carlson on television last night saying that there was no evidence of white supremacists at the riot. Right? Wrong. First off, Hostin's lying right off the bat because Tucker Carlson didn't say anything about there being no evidence of white supremacists at the Capitol. Carlson said that there was no evidence that white supremacists were responsible for what happened on the 6th. There's no evidence that white supremacists were responsible for what happened on January 6th. That's a lie. And the phrase white supremacist itself is nebulous and has come to mean pretty much anything that is white and stands against the left. And you don't even have to be white anymore. This is a sleight of hand on Hostin's part, but she still has no evidence. Just because someone was there waving a Confederate flag doesn't mean that they're a white supremacist. And then you can't just judge thousands of people because of one person. The evidence was clear at the riot. At the, at the insurrection. I mean, you had people carrying Confederate flags. So Hostin acts like there was Confederate flags everywhere and symbols of hatred. Let's look at some pictures from the Capitol. I mean, there should be Confederate flags and racist symbols everywhere, right? I mean, look at this one. 
I see nothing but American flags. And how about this one? Okay, I see some Trump flags and American flags. Or this one. American flag, American flag. Looks like we got a Betsy Ross flag up there. <gasps> oh, I know they really hate that one. But it's not a symbol of white supremacy. Any more than the American flag is, which we all know is coming. But let's just look at a few more pictures here. Nope, don't see any Confederate flags or racist flags there. Oh, oh here's one. Oh, look, one guy. One person standing there with a Confederate flag. Are you kidding me? That's your evidence. Well, let's look at the aftermath of some BLM rallies. Oh, here we go. George Floyd, communist symbol, hammer and sickle, another communist symbol. Well, pff, that must mean that they're all communists, right? Here's another one, a BLM rally. Oh, look at that hammer and sickle communist flag. Oh, and look, there's another one. But we all know that BLM nor Antifa or Democrats at all will ever be held to that same standard. It's literally just something they're making up on the fly so they can suppress all dissent. Harry Dunn, a Capitol Police officer, a black Capitol Police officer, saying that he was called racial slurs at that insurrection. Yeah. I was disgusted by what Tucker right. Carlson said. How dare he say there was no evidence right. of white supremacy there? There was evidence everywhere. Okay, and... Who was that person? Do you know their identity? Do we have any recordings, any audio, any evidence at all that his claim is true? But I want you to remember that they've tried this before with the Tea Party, with black Democrats claiming that they were called the N-word. Again, with no evidence, despite there being cameras and mics everywhere, and even a $100,000 reward from Breitbart. At no time during Hostin's rantings or this PolitiFact propaganda, do they ever prove that white supremacists were responsible for what happened at the Capitol. As we do know, there were left-wingers there who were instigating and inciting violence and then getting paid by CNN and MSNBC for the video. All right, that's all I can take of these traitorous liars for one sitting. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and I'll see you all next time.